approach is going to be very beneficial because as soon as those signs come up and that you have identified um, the correct disease and that identification process is really important. You also want to maintain like a regular schedule of applying these so, so you know um, how many days in between each application that you can wait. So making sure that these are all scheduled appropriately and documented so you're not over applying is going to be very important. And then proper calibration of the nozzles um, is also going to be very important. If you have the calibration off, you can be over applying the pesticide, which in return um, might cause the plant to severely decline. You want to make sure that you're wearing the corrective um, PPE, which is personal protective equipment, um, and that will depend on what kind of pesticide that you're using and that will be found on the label and the safety um, precautions that you need to be taking while applying these pesticides. Another thing with applying these different pesticides is you need an applicator's license. And I know a lot of you um, are currently or already have your applicator's license. And if you don't already, through, once you're finished with the program, you will end up taking that test and receiving your applicator's license. So that's gonna be a really important certificate and license that you will be receiving if you haven't already. Another big one is the re-entry interval after spring um, and the re-entry interval is just saying after you apply what is the amount of time that you have to stay away before entering just because those chemicals could be very powerful and um, could cause issues for you if you do go in that area where the chemical was applied before the period is complete. And then you just want to be following uh, the REI, which is re-entry interval, guidelines on product labels, post warnings on entrance to greenhouses as well. And then the choices of the active ingredient ingredients are limited, um, just because we are dealing with the greenhouse controls, but um, there is still a lot available, which we will go over in the next couple slides. All right, some different greenhouse fungicides and bactericides. Um, mainly for fungicides, you can use like copper, um, compounds or bactericides, it's broad spectrum fun fungicide in a protectant. And you could do Cosside, Champ, um, Copper Pro Fix, uh, New Cop, and the numerous crops are also labeled except for um, lettuce. But you can use any of those. Like I said, really anything with that copper um, compound would be beneficial for fungicides and bactericides. All right, here's a couple more protectants. And just letting you guys know, protectant, it just protects it from the disease um, or bacteria, the fungicide or bacteria that are that's coming. So it's used as like a proactive approach to this. Um, Mancazeb or Maneb is broad spectrum fungicide, usually with the broad spectrum uh, fungicides. And broad spectrum fungicides, broad spectrum in general means it has a broad view of um, a lot of the different fungicides that it will take care of. Um, and that's the Coside, Champ, uh, Copper Profix. Uh, and broad spectrum um, means that it covers a, a broad um, different fungicides, or I'm sorry, a, a broad sense of um, bacteria and diseases that it could cover, specifically diseases because it's fungicide but it's not specific to just one. So it's gonna come cover a lot of different funguses. And um, these include dethane, maneb, um, and the numerous crops that are labeled for this. And then sulfur uh, is used for pot powdery mildew or uh, miticides as well. And this is again, protectant and dusting sulfur. There's various brands for this, wettable sulfur, and the numerous crops are, are labeled uh, excluding lettuce crops. And then we have Betran 75W, and that controls botrytis, covers cucumbers, lettuce, and tomatoes. Decree also controls botrytis or gray mold, uh, more of the fruiting vegetables and cucurbits and leafy greens. Um, Provacure flax is mostly those root rods, pythium, phytophthora, damping off diseases. Scala is the control of Altinaria and uh, Botrytis again, that gray mold, and um, the Terramaster EC control of Pythium. So here's a couple different fungicides that are used for greenhouses with softer chemistries and it's organically approved. And this is uh, Bacillus subtilis, which is broad spectrum fungicide. Uh, Serenade Max is um, the name that you guys will most likely hear for this. 
and it's approved in um, most greenhouse vegetables as well. And then you guys are familiar with this, like with hydrogen peroxide. So there's different peroxides. It's a broad spectrum fungicide for bacteria. Um, and it's approved in, in most greenhouses with a low residue activity. Um, and it's frequent if applications are needed. So the management of bac bacterial spot and canker so bacterial um, disease in general is really prevention is the primary uh, tool to manage those bacterial diseases using pathogen-free seeds and transplants. Um, avoid saving those seeds from previous crops, heirloom growers, uh, make sure they're using that hot water or bleach soaks, and then use resistant varieties. But sanitation prevention of spread is gonna be really important, removing and destroying diseased plants, keeping heirlooms in an isolated spot, cleaning benches and tools, and not handling plants if the foliage is wet. Um, if you're doing overhead irrigation, um, do it early in the day and don't overwater. And then you can also apply that streptomycin on a five to seven day interval, and that's going to decrease that um, bacteria that's occurring with your plant material. And you can also be applying the copper as well. For viral diseases, there are no chemical options to decrease viral diseases. Um, but cultural, just use resistant varieties if available, and then don't plant ornamental and vegetables in close proximity to each other, and then try to avoid handling tobacco products and wash hands frequently. You can clear weeds around fields and greenhouses and then control the insect vectors in the greenhouse. Those vectors are gonna be a, a big um, factor in this virus disease management. So really controlling those vectors as best as possible.